welcome back. Today is class two in our Yoga for Your Cycle series. So we're entering phase two, which is the follicular phase. That's hard to say, follicular. Um, last seven to 10 days, right when your bleeding stops. So things you might keep in mind is you might be feeling more energetic, more open-minded, hormone levels are picking up again. Great time for brainstorming, for creativity, for trying new things. So today's class is gonna be a little bit of a fun, creative, um, moving from the ground up, so getting our energy from that low grounded place we were in last class, building it upwards, and moving through a little ladder mandala sequence. Um, you shouldn't need any prop, maybe a block for balance. We're gonna do like a revolved half moon, so actually a block would be good. Um, so grab that, maybe place one on the front, one on the back, just in case. And then we're gonna get started in a seated posture. Let's cross our right leg in front of our left. And then just ground into this moment, into this practice. The next 30 minutes, make a vow to just feel into your energy, into your body, into what you need today. I'll take three breaths here. Arriving into this moment and our breath and our body. One more inhale in through your nose. Fill up all the way to the top. And then exhale out of your mouth, release. Place your hands on your knees if they aren't already there. And go ahead and open your eyes. <clears throat> We're going to move into a cat cow here. So on your inhale, pull your hands into your knees as you thread your heart through your shoulders. Draw up your head back and arch through your spine. And then exhale, tuck chin to chest, round through your upper back. Tuck your tailbone in between your legs. Inhale to a cow spine. And exhale to a cat spine. Start to move intuitively to your body. So if this normal cat cow feels great, hang out here. If you want to create more circles, Explore a little bit, that's an option too. We're here for about five more breaths. Finding some movement through spine, through shoulders, through hips. And we'll take one more inhale together into our arch spine, our cow tilt. Draw up your head back and then exhale, tuck chin to chest, round everything in. Curl into your center. Good. Stretch your arms out long. Tent up on your fingertips and we're going to take three pulses down. So really feeling into those hips as you bring your chest down towards the mat in front of you. And then lift back up, fingertips press behind you. Knees and shins press in that as you extend your hips forward and drop your head back. So kind of like a reverse tabletop, but our legs are still crossed. And then exhale back down. My hips will make crazy noises, just ignore them. We're gonna extend our legs out in front of us, turn on your core, and then switch the cross of your legs. So now left shin is in front. Fingertips reach out in front of you, take three pulses into your hips. Sit back up, reach your fingertips back behind you, extend your hips forward, drop your head back. And open through your heart. Exhale back down. We're gonna extend our legs straight if you want, or bent knees, and then we'll do this again one more time on each side. So right leg in front of left, pulse forward three times. Lean back and drive your hips up towards the sky. Sit back down, straighten your legs, turn on your core, switch the cross, and then lean out three times. Weight shifts back, plant into your hands behind you, and then drive your hips up to the sky. Good, sit back down. And then roll all the way over your knees. We're gonna come standing at the top of our mats. Just find an Uttanasana forward fold. Heavy bend in your knees to begin with. As you let the crown of your head drop heavy. Hands can flat, flatly lay on the mat or you can grasp opposite elbows. 
Just let your spine traction along here. And then slowly lift up halfway. Place your hands on your upper thighs and your knees. And we're going to take a cat cow here in this kind of chair halfway lift position. So on an inhale, pull your hands energetically up your thighs as you reach your chest forward. Lift your tail up. And then exhale, tuck and round. Four more, move with your breath, close your eyes. Start to feel your energy rise a little bit. Two more, big inhale, fill up all the way, drop your belly. Big exhale, expel all of your air out as you curl into center. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Slowly release down to your fold. On your inhale, halfway lift fingertips to the mat or to your shins. Flat back. And then exhale, plant your hands, step your right leg back behind you, release your low knee down to or your knee down to the mat. Your right knee. Inhale, reach your arms high, find this low lunge position on Janayasana. Draw up through your fingertips. Stay long through your side waist, but keep your ribs pulling in slightly. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. And then see if you can sink a little bit lower down into your hips. Try to avoid really arching through the low back. Good. Exhale, plant both hands to frame your left foot. Kickstand your right foot out to the side. And then open up into a modified side plank. So your left leg is reaching out. Your heel is stamping in the wall back behind you. Left arm overhead. Bicep to frame the ear. You're balancing on your right arm and your right leg. Take a breath in to grow longer from fingertips through the bottom of your left foot. On your exhale, bend into your left knee. Curl heel into glute. And then reach back behind you with your left hand for that foot. Kind of like a modified dancer pose. Inhale, kick your foot into your hand, drive your hips forward, open up through the front body. And then exhale, slowly release without slingshotting. Straighten out one more time, find some length. And then exhale, left foot steps back to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up into your little lunge. Exhale, step right foot to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale to your flat back. Crown of the head reaches forward. And then exhale, release back down. Left leg steps back, left knee lowers. Inhale, rise up, arms reach high. And then here we just kind of experiment in our low lunge. So I like to tuck my pelvis underneath a little bit. Stay long through side waist. Open up across your collarbones. And then if this feels okay on your low back, Start to sink your left hip down to the mat. Maybe you inch in and out of it a few times. Go to take one more inhale, grow tall. Exhale, release hands to frame your right foot. Kickstand your left foot out to the side. Inhale, open up into your modified side plank. Right leg stretches long. Right arm reaches overhead. Exhale, draw your lower belly in. Slight tilting underneath of your pelvis. Take one more inhale here. And then exhale, curl right heel into glute as you bend your knee and reach back with your right hand. Breathe in to open up, kick your foot into your hand. And then breathe out, slowly release. One more stretch long on your in-breath. And then exhale, right foot steps to the top of the mat. Low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms high. Exhale, forward fold at the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, step right foot back, release knee down. Inhale, Anjane Asana. Exhale, hands come through prayer center. Twist over to your left, hook your right elbow on your left knee. Breathe in, grow long, expansive across your collarbones, pressing knee and elbow together. Exhale, stay. Good. Inhale, sweep your arms high on Janyasana. 
Exhale, right hand plants. Inhale, open up to your modified side plank, stretch long. And then exhale, bend your left knee. This time, place the sole of your foot on the mat with your toes pointing backwards. Drop your hips down, left hand will come on the inside of your left foot. Inhale, reach your right fingertips high, find a modified side of angle. So curl left sit bone underneath your body, open up across your chest, and then across your left inner thigh. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, half splits, Ardha Hadmanasana to the back of the mat, straighten into your left knee. And then sit your right hip down to your right heel. Three pulses here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Micro bend in the right knee to protect your joint. Dig your left heel back. I think I said right knee and left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. One more time with your breath. Make sure your pelvis is facing forward. So plug your left femur back into its socket and roll your right hip forward. Good. Bend back into your left knee. Inhale, reach right hand high, modified side angle. And then exhale, we'll make our way to the front of the mat, pulling at your right hand. Inhale, stretch along for your modified side plank. This time, keep your left foot grounded. Let it feel good. Good. Exhale, step left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Exhale, we meet at the top of the mat, forward fold. Uttanasana. Breathe in, Ardha Uttanasana. Releasing breath out and fold as you step your left leg back and lower your left knee down. Inhale, rise up to your low lunge. And then exhale, hands meet in a prayer position. Twist over to the right as you hook your left elbow on your right knee. Press palms together to grow longer across your chest. And exhale, stay. Inhale, come up out of your twist, fingertips high, and then exhale, left hand plants on the inside of right foot. Breathe in as you open up into your modified side plank, and then bend your right knee, toes point to the back of the mat as you set the sole of your right foot down. Hip sink, right hand comes to the inner arch of the right hand, and then left hand reaches high, modified side angle. Couple breaths here. Scoop your right sit bone underneath you and stretch long across each rib space on your left side. One more breath in. And then exhale, swivel your left foot underneath you, straighten your right leg, half splits. Left heel and left hip meet. Three halfway lifts with your breath if you want to take them. Just to find that little dynamic movement, a little growing upwards, a little bit of rising of energy. One more breath in. Exhale, fold and bend into your right knee. Right hand plants, inhale, left arm sweeps high. Exhale, pivot your left foot underneath you. We'll make it right to the front of the mat. Right foot stays planted, inhale, right arm sweeps overhead, modified side plank. And then exhale, right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up into your low lunge. And then exhale, fold. We'll keep adding on. Let's take our little one breath to reset. Moving your spine up and down. And then step right foot back, lower right knee down. Inhale, Anjana Asana, arms reach high. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, reach up again, straighten. And exhale, right hand plants on the inside of your left foot. Right foot swivels out. Inhale, modified side plank, stretch long. Exhale, bend your left knee. Send your toes to the back of the mat. Sit your hips low. Left hand plants, right arm opens up. Exhale, both hands on the inside of your left foot. Find a bit of a lifted half splits. And then bend into your left knee, pluck your right knee off the mat, and lift your arms high for a crescent lunge. Good. 
couple breaths here. So drive the top of your right hamstring back behind you. Your heel presses back and your right hip rolls forward. Slight tuck of the tailbone underneath you as you keep your ribs knitted in towards center. Take a breath in here. And then exhale, straighten into left leg, bend into right knee. So we're hovering our right knee off the mat slightly. Inhale, lift up, straighten. Exhale, bend into left knee. I like to put my hands at heart center, but if you want to lift them overhead, great option. Or out to the side if you need more assistance with balance. Inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, bend right knee. Inhale, straighten both legs. We're going to do one more of each. Exhale, bend left knee, find your crescent lunge. Breathe in to straighten. Breathe out, bend right knee, hover it off the mat. Good. This time, inhale, arms out to airplane wings out to the side. And exhale, fold into a modified pyramid. Back heel is lifted. You can step your foot in slightly. And then if you want more sensation on the back of your left hamstring, curl and peel your toes off the mat so you're balancing on your left heel. Three halfway lifts here. And you inhale, you're going to draw your chest forward, reach out through the crown of your head. As you exhale, fold and release. Two more with your breath. Final one here. Exhale, fold. Good. Plant your left toes if you lifted them. Bend your left knee. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands frame left foot. Sit back into your half splits. Right knee lowers down, left knee straightens. Good. Left hand plants on the inside of left foot as your knee bends. And then inhale, open right hand up to the sky. Exhale, making your way to the top of the mat. Right hand plants, left foot remains lifted. As you breathe in, open up to your modified side plank. As you breathe out, left foot steps forward. You know where you're going. Inhale, low lunge. And then exhale, right foot meets the left at the top of the mat. Breathe into your halfway lift. And breathe out to your fold. Step your left foot back, lower your left knee down. Inhale, Ajanayasana. Exhale, left hand plants. Left foot swivels out. Inhale, modified side plank. Take your option. Exhale, right knee bends. Toes plant down at the back of the mat. Hips sink, right hand grounds. Inhale, modified side angle. And then exhale, two hands on the inside of the right foot. Straighten right knee, half splits. Bend back into your right knee. Pluck your left knee off the mat. And then rise up into a crescent lunge. So bending deeply into the right knee, pressing out through the left heel. Gaze is forward and biceps are framing your ears. On your inhale, let your breath fill your lungs, fill your ribs. But on an exhale, make sure you're able to draw them back in towards your belly button. One more inhale. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Next breath in, straighten into both legs. And then hands can come to heart center. As we exhale, we bend our left knee. Hovering left leg off the mat. Good. Inhale, both legs straighten. Exhale, right knee bends. Breathe in to straighten. Breathe out, left knee bends. We'll do one more of each. Move with your breath. Find the play of balance and strength and creativity and openness. Last time bending into the left knee, let it hover off the mat. And then inhale, both legs straighten, arms come out to airplane wings, and then we'll fold into our modified pyramid pose. Wrap your right hip back and your left hip forward. Nose drapes down by your right knee. Three halfway lifts with your breath if you want to take them. Option to pluck the right toes off the mat for more sensation. 
Great place for blocks on either side if you need a little more room. Last inhale here. Exhale, fold. Bend into your right knee. Inhale, rise to your crescent lunge. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana, half split, straighten into right leg. Bend into right knee, right hand grounds, left hand sweeps high, modified side angle. Exhale, making our way to the front of the mat, left hand plants, right toes face, the long edge of the mat. Inhale, right bicep frames the ear, sweep your arm overhead. And then exhale, right foot, next to left hand. Inhale, open up to your low lunge shape. And exhale, top of the mat, fold down. Halfway lift, breathe in. Halfway, or so exhale, step your right foot back, lower your right knee down. Inhale, Ajnayasana. Exhale, we twist right elbow hooks on the outside of left knee. Inhale, open up again, pelvis is neutral. Exhale, right hand plants. Kick, stand your right foot out to the right side. Inhale, stretch long through the left side body, through the left limbs and your side plank. And then exhale, left toes to the back of the mat, bend into your knees, sink your hips. Modified side angle on your in-breath. Half splits, hands on the inside of the left knee. Good, bend into your right knee, find your crescent lunge. And then exhale, straighten into your left knee, bend into your right knee, hover off the mat just one time this round. Inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, modified pyramid, fold and release. Bend your left knee again, inhale, crescent lunge. This time hands come through heart center. We're gonna twist over to the left. So find an active twist using your own muscles, your core first, and then hook your right knee on the outside or your right elbow on the outside of your left knee. Three breaths here. Option if you want to open up your arms, the so left fingertips reach high to the sky and right fingertips ground into the earth. One more inhale. And then exhale, balance into your left foot. Find that block in front of you. And then put your right hand on the block. We're gonna spring forward into our revolved half moon. So arms stay as they are, left leg straightens, and then right heel lifts up behind you. This is a tough pose, so use the block as needed. Bend your left knee as much as needed. Corkscrewing our heart open to the left. Option to bend into your right knee. Reach back with your left hand to the top of your right foot. And find kind of a revolved sugar cane pose. So kicking foot into hand, twisting open, straightening into left leg. Three breaths. One more inhale, go grow long from crown of head out through right knee. And then exhale, slowly release. Inhale, open up to your half moon revolved. And then exhale. Lower your right, fall of your foot down to the mat. Crescent lunge on your in-breath. Half splits on your exhale. Good, modified side angle, left hand plants. Right hand reaches high. We're going to the front of our mat, right hand plants. Left leg stretches on. Big inhale, fill up your side body. Exhale, draw your left knee in, step your left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, right foot meets the left at the top of the mat, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, the left knee back behind you down to the mat. Lift up out of your waist, fingertips reach high for your low lunge. And then exhale, twist over to the right, left elbow to hook. Come back through center. And then exhale, left hand plants down, left foot kicks hands out to the side. Inhale, stretch long, modified side plank. Exhale, bend your right knee, set it at the back of the mat, toes pointing backwards. Hips sink down. 
Open up across your chest, inhale, modified side angle. And exhale, two hands on the inside of your right foot, straight right knee, half splits. Bend into your right knee, lift up, crescent lunge. And exhale, straighten right leg, bend left knee to hover. Arms up for balance. Inhale, both legs straighten, arms out wide. Exhale, full modified pyramid. Good, bend into your right knee again. Inhale, lift up to your crescent lunge. And then exhale, hands come through heart center. Twist actively open to the right. And then once you feel like you've gone as far as you can, you're gonna hook your left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Find your twisted lunge. Hands pressing down into each other to wrap your lungs around your heart and lift it higher. Stay active through the back left heel and then option to open up your arms. We're here for three more breaths. Final inhale, grow a little bit longer, a little bit taller. And then left hand is gonna come to your block Spring forward into the right foot. Find your evolved half moon. So upper body stays the same. This time right leg straightens. And then engage your left glute and hamstring to lift it high to the sky. Bend as much as you need into your right leg. Stay here or bend your left knee. Reach back with your right hand. And then kick foot into hand to open up across the front of your left hip. Still twisting open to the right. Find lengthening of space from the crown of your head all the way down through your left kneecap. And one more inhale. Exhale, release your revolved half moon. Breathe in here. And breathe out. Ball of the left foot lands. Crescent lunge, inhale. Woo. Half splits, exhale. Lower left knee down, straighten your right knee. Right leg bends, open up modified side angle. And then left hand to the top of the mat as your right toes pivot to the right. Stretch long into your modified side plank. And then exhale, right foot steps next to your left hand. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, fold. Shake out your head. Let your upper body grow heavy. And I'm gonna give us a couple minutes here. Just explore any of those poses. So, depending on your energy, depending on where exactly you are in your cycle. Maybe you just want to stay in a low lunge or maybe this kind of modified dancer in your side plank felt good. Or I'm going to try that peak pose we did again, the revolved sugar cane. So you have maybe one minute per side and I'll remind you if you're doing one on each side to switch. Take your time, feel into what your body needs. steady. Keep your points of contact rounding down into the earth. We draw stability up through center so we can grow outwards. And just be open-minded here. If, if a big balance or twizzy pose isn't for you right now, stay open in a more grounded space. If you want to try something new, we'll go for it. Start to ease out of that first side if you're taking a unilateral move. A couple of breaths to reset. And then move to your other side whenever you're ready. Just 
explore here. Grow open here. Stretch a little longer. Or sink a little deeper for three more breaths. Good. On your last exhale, find your way to the top of your mat in a forward fold. And shake your head. Yes, shake it. No. Let your upper body hang heavy. Slight bend in your knees. Three breaths here. Starting to slow down. On your next inhale, rise up halfway. Place your hands to your knees or the tops of your thighs. We're going to take our standing cat cow again. So inhale, pull your hands back as you thread your heart through your shoulders. Gaze upwards and tail lift upwards. And then exhale, tuck chin to chest, round through your low back, your mid back, and then tuck tailbone underneath you. Four more with your breath. Moving at your own pace, filling up, letting everything out. Do two more together here. Exhale, fold all the way down, and then we'll sit our bottom to the mat. Find a cross with your legs. We'll do one last little lowering down of energy and cooling here. So move into your cat cow from your cross-legged position, just how we started. Maybe you want to go forward and backwards. Maybe those rotations and circles sound good for you. more cycles. And finally, root your sit bones down with the mat. Close your eyes down. Curl long through the back of your neck. We'll close our eyes if they're not already and take one more big inhale together. Filling up all the way. And then full releasing exhale out of your mouth. All right, thank you. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed that creative little moving all around your mat and adding on. Um, it's a fun little sequencing thing if you want to be open-minded and kind of brainstormy. So experiment on your own too. If you want to just start linking poses together, it's really fun. But um, hopefully that met your energy and your body right where it was, wherever you needed to be. We have two more classes in this series, finishing up through our cycle. So please subscribe so you want to see those ones and then share this with others so they can join. And I'll see you next time.